Welcome to another video on Power BI. Today I would like to show you how you can create Power BI report that is visualizing live data from an Azure SQL database. I'm using here the Adventure Perks database and there are a few tables. We have customers, products and sales orders. And what we want to do is to create a Power BI report that shows us the sales order headers and the state of the different sales order headers. So let's have a look what is in here. So I'm going to select all from sales order header. And as you can see, we have a primary key that's a sales order ID, which is unique. And what is interesting for us is the state here. You see the state is an integer value. And according to some documentation that I found on the internet, it means that if the state is 1, it is in process, 2 is approved, 3 back order, 4 rejected, 5 is shipped, and 6 is cancelled. So we are going to create a Power BI report that visualizes the individual states and how many sales orders are there in a different state. And what we want to see is when the value in the database changes, the Power BI report should view the live data and update as well. So let's get started. I'm using Power BI and what we want to do is to connect to the database using direct query. So from get data I'm using SQL Server and I will provide the server name and the database name. Both can be found in the connection string in Azure or whatever source you're using. In my case, this is the server name and this is the database name. Important here is to use direct query. The difference is import, we would load all data in the Power BI report model and direct query only creates a connection to the database. And we can copy the statement here or choose from the uh, wizard, but I'm using the SELECT statement here and provide the SELECT statement and now we should see the data, so this is the data in the database and I'm selecting here LOAD this will create the connection and on the left hand side you see we have the report and the model view but not the data view anymore this is because we are using direct query here and just to make this a little bit more useful I'm renaming query1 to sales order headers. So in the next step I will create three measures. Uh, one that summarizes uh, sales orders in the state created, another measure that counts the sales orders in the state approved and one for the shipped. I know there are more states in this example but just to play around it will be sufficient to have three. I'm using a measure here and not a visual with a filter for a reason that I will show you soon. So but now let's create a new measure and I'm call it M for measure and orders created and use calculate to count the sales order IDs and use a filter and the state should be 1 now I'm going to drag and drop it on my report and switch the visual to a card visual and this should say we have 17 sales orders in the state created and I will just copy and paste this measure 
and create an additional one for the approved ones where the state is 2 and the third one for the shipped where the state is 5 and I'm going to drag and drop it on my report so looks like 17 orders are created, 2 are approved and 10 are already shipped. Now I would like to set uh, the refresh. This can be done on the formatting page here on page refresh. And here we have a change detection and now here we have an uh, issue. You can only select one measure. So I could create the change detection on the approved, but this would uh, not trigger if a new one is created, or I can set it on the created, but this would not trigger if a uh, approved one would change to shipped. So what I'm going to do is to create an additional measure that summarizes the state of all my sales orders and put the change detection on this one. That is the reason why I have created these three measures here. So I'm creating a new measure and call it order state and this is a very simple measure and it says I have orders created that start with a C and I'm just adding here with the end sign the created ones and I'm using the A for the approved and I'm using the S for the shipped. You see it is like a poor man's hash value if you want to. And this will create a value and to visualize it I'm dragging it on my report, on the card visual here. <coughs> you can hide it in a real report, but you say it says created 17, approved 2 and shipped a 10, which is okay. And now I can go to my formatting pane, to the page refresh, change detection, and now I'm using the change detection on this uh, state measure. And I would like to see it let's say within 10 seconds approximately and say apply now let's save this report and next we are going to publish it into a workspace and I have a demo workspace here and I'm going to publish this report to my demo workspace and then we have to check the connection of the model so let's switch to Power BI and from my workspace I have my demo report here and from the semantic model we are going to settings and we have to okay it has already this information if you have an error here you have to provide this uh, information how Power BI can connect to the database but it has already been configured because I have this done one or more times already so this looks good now let's check back to the report and it should look like in Power BI Desktop so 17 created, 2 approved and 10 shipped and what I'm going to do now is to change one of the created to approved so I'm going to the SQL Server 
and here I'm selecting all the sales orders where the state is one so for example we can use this sales order here and switch the state to approved so I'm going to update the sales order header set the state to 2 where sales order ID is this one here and when we go back to our report it should only take a few seconds that the series order created changed to 16 and approved should be 3 voila here it is you see 16 and 3. So this is uh, how you can create the report that visualizes data from a database with a direct query connection and if you have some more sophisticated reports you can make it also look a little bit more interesting Maybe you have seen a uh, posting on LinkedIn. This is this report here. This does exactly the same. It has some measures that counts sales orders for a different state and has a hidden state measure here that you can see which is used to update the report. I hope you liked this video and it would be fine if you leave a thumbs up or a comment. Thanks for watching and goodbye.